Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I got it. Motorcycle wheels in the booth we're about to paint. We're going with black and red on these here. He wasn't sure on what color at first. He hadn't even ordered his fairings, so he said either red or black. Then he decided to go with a black. And I said uh, I could put a red, paint the lip red, a little stripe around here. I think that's what I'm going to go with. But our first step. Just getting them cleaned up. As you can see, they got a little oil and dirt on them. You don't want to start sanding with that oil and dirt on the wheel. Whoever painted them green, they had painted the bio stem. I kind of cleaned it up with some lacquer thinner. But it don't look like they primed it. But we're going to see what we got. Uh, first step, got some soap and water. Just clean them up real good. Got them cleaned up. Quite a few chips in the paint. And look like they painted over dirt or whatever. So I'm gonna have to sand this down and prime it up. Try to fill up all them imperfections. I think I'm gonna sand it down with some 180. Yeah, I think that'll be good. take a maroon scotch right and get up in here because it's a lot easier doing that with a scotch right than sandpaper because it, it flakes a lot easier but this is all what it is it's the 07447 maroon scotch right off everything now masking everything up I'm just using some cheap masking tape but I just tore off some pieces and I'm just putting a piece in there at a time that's how I'm getting that circle without using a razor blade trying to cut it but I'm just putting a piece here and I come back and put a piece on top of it just make my way all the way around but on this tie here I can pretty much mask this pretty easy because the air out with the air out on this tie too but it's still sealed to the rim so it's a smaller tie but this tie here it ain't sealed so I'd be able to mask that one pretty easy Got it ready to be primed up now. As you 
can see. I'm going to be spraying this Tamco HP 5310. This is my high build primer. It mixes 4 to 1. 4 pore primer, 1 pore activator. I'm going to reduce it down a little bit. But it's ready now to be primed. of the primer. I was gonna go straight to the base coat but I think I'm gonna go ahead and sand this on because it had a few imperfections in it that don't look like the primer covered it up. But you can't tell though. But I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry and sand it down so Spot here where I had sanded down to the metal. Little spot there. I don't like it's focusing. I got some 400 grit wet sandpaper. I'm about to wet sand the wheels now. Get everything smooth. gonna paint red around the outer lip and I'm gonna be spraying this red here it's by Uric I'm gonna spray that first then I'm gonna mask it off and spray the black It's two coats of the red base coat. I'm gonna let this dry on up. Then I'm gonna, uh, it's dry now, but I don't wanna start masking. I just sprayed about 30 minutes ago. I'm gonna let it dry up some more. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mask with my black. I'm just masking everything off with the fine line tape. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the black paint now, but I'm masking the red off. Just on this lip part. I did this wheel over here. But I'm going to come back with a thicker piece of tape. And I'm going to cover this up too. So it's just going to be this here red. Finishing up with the masking. I got a wider piece of tape now. I'm just filling in the gap from the fine line to the original masking I did on the tie. I just got some pieces tore off like this. It's easy to make that circle like that. I done finished up this wheel here.
it's two coats of the jet black. That can lay down pretty good. What we gotta do now, we gotta unmask this red so we can clear everything at once. both wheels I'm ass time to spray the clear now we're gonna go with this Tamco AC2105 Euro clear extra slow mixes two to one with 10% reducer Stop.